Okay, yes, yeah, sorry about that. I just had to go downstairs and do a few things first. But yes, yeah, so I've just shut down the computer and I'm ready to flash. So let's get started. So I'm going to turn on the PC and then uh, keep hitting F12. Uh, this is to get it to the boot select option. Every computer's different, I guess, but yeah, mine's F12. And then, uh, because we're flashing from the USB, we want to uh, obviously flash from the USB. So we select it in the boot options. Uh, mine is a USB system Dell memory key. So I hit enter. And then, here we go. Okay, now we're gonna type L dash, oh no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, important thing is turn the drive on, that might help. Okay. Okay, so we type L dash O dash E-R-A-S dot E-X-E followed by your port number D-C-O-O -O. L dash O dash Okay, you do this two times and then you type in DOS splash Okay, then you should get that message and what we're gonna do is blah 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 uh, do you want to resend the command what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the drive off and on so off on and then we hit Y enter okay and now it's uh, drive is in vendor mode and it can find out okay so uh, now we do number four because that's the drive you can see DC zero zero so we type in number four now what would you like to do write arrays or extract we want to erase first so we hit E for erase and now it's erasing. Erase finished. That was quick. Then dust flash again. Okay, found the drive again. Number four, same as before. What would you like to do this time? Now we've erased the firmware. We're gonna write the light touch plus firmware. So you hit W and enter. W for write. And then enter the firmware update file name. It's light underscore cfw dot bin. And we type that. And then it will erase. And then it will write banks. So write bank 0, 1, 2, and 3. And then it's done. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, we'll give it a quick test. Why not? So I'm just going to turn the drive off, take it out, and then uh, place it in. And obviously, I don't have a a game, a new one to test it on, which is what it's for, because the new games have new protection on AP 25 or 2.5. Oh, uh, so yeah, I'll just test an old game to show you that it works. So, uh, yeah, one second. Uh -huh. 
camera down while I connect, hook it up. Sorry about this, just trying to find the eject button. Oh, here it is on the floor. Okay, so... As you can see, it's the same drive before. Turn it on. Oh yeah, but I'll put the hard drive in as well. One sec. Um. Okay, so I just put the hard drive on it now. Uh, so as you can see, we got the new dash. This is the one loading up. So uh, we're just going to open the tray, open, and then we're going to put Black Ops in now, just to show you that it works. So yeah, as you can see, the light touch plus firmware boots Black Ops fine. And uh, yeah, I know it's, you know, the, the point is for the new ones. And what I do now is I'll show you how to uh, correctly patch a new one, a new game, so it's ready for this kind of firmware. And then I'll, I'll burn it and then... Uh, show you guys in like 25 minutes or whatever however long it takes to burn so uh alright to burn what you need is uh you need to run it in ABGX360 so I'm gonna open that up and then uh load the ISO file in that So, uh, at the moment I know it's, it applies to Need for Speed, Assassin's Creed, Brotherhood, Fable 3, and uh, a couple of the Kinect games, but I don't really follow Kinect, so I'm not that sure. So, and anyway, we've loaded the Need for Speed, so we load it in ABGX. As you can see, we'll just let it verify for the sake of it, but... As you can see here, anti piracy 25 media. And uh, yeah, so just let it verify. And then uh, while that, you need uh, this PPF Omatic version 3 and also the Need for Speed PAL AP25 file, which is what you patch it with. I'll provide links to them, but they're all on the Team Executor website, the PPF Omatic and the Need for Speed PAL, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit uh, NTSS if you're American, uh, Assassin's Creed, just all the games so far. So anyway, as you can see, oh, I'm still going. don't remember my drive being that slow. Wait, only 10 seconds. Okay, there we go. So you know, it's found it okay. And then, uh, yeah. So hit okay. And then, to patch the games. Uh, where's my mouse? 
Okay, to patch them, you load up this PPF Omatic program. Double click on that. ISO file, hit the sign, and then you want to go locate the folder which the ISO is in. So in my case, it's in LT Plus, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, and there's the ISO file. So we load that in, and then in the patch, we uh, go to the same file folder where I put the Need for Speed Hot Pursuit AP25 patch PPF file, and you get this with the Team Executor website. But I'll pick up, put up links in case. Double click on that, and then uh, as you can see, this should happen. You should see this, and then what you want to do is you want to just click apply. And it should say patch successfully applied, burn image to CD now. So we close that, uh, load up an image burn, and uh, dual layer. Get a new tool there. It's in. Hmm. Okay, and then we just browse for the need for speed. Okay, Need for Speed helps you load the .dvd file. Uh, right speed, I do. I do 2.4. And then, yeah. So it's burning the patched game for Light Touch Plus firmware. And remember, you have to do this for every game. You like if you don't patch it, it won't work basically, and it's safe for Xbox Live once you burn. So, uh, what I do is I make another video when it's burning. Yeah, we'll do it like that. So when it's burning, we'll make another video when it's burnt. Sorry, just to show you that it boots the new Need for Speed up on Light Touch Plus firmware. Uh, I'm sure I've missed out a lot of things because the last time I actually flashed a drive was when I made my last set of videos so that was quite a while ago but uh, yeah if there's any questions or anything I missed out which there probably is uh, leave a comment anyway thanks for watching and uh, have a good evening